Hey guys, what is up? Come with me to go pick up a cyber truck today. I'm gonna take you guys along the journey with me. We gotta drive like an hour away to go pick up the cyber truck, but I'm super excited because right now cyber trucks are like super limited in the US, especially in Illinois where I'm from. So I'm super excited. I'm gonna show you guys the truck and all the cool things and all that. So come with me. If you guys don't know what a cyber truck is, then where the heck have you been? Um, but cyber trucks right now are super limited in the US and you have to be on a list in order to get them. So we're super excited to go pick one up. And yeah, it's gonna be really fun. So I wanted to take you guys along with me on the journey and show you guys the truck and inside and all the behind the scenes of it. So we're gonna go do that now. We have like an hour drive. I'm probably gonna go pick up some food before I go so that way I'm not hungry since I'm always hungry. And yeah, let me show you guys my outfit of the day. <laughs> so, I have this little bodysuit. It's like all the way down. And then I was wearing a jean jacket, but I just switched into this thinner button up because it is pretty hot outside. And then I have some blue Adidas socks on. And then I'm going to go put on some. Yeezys they're downstairs though they're just like tan cream colored but yeah let's go I am in the car right now picking up some drinks and breakfast because it is about an hour drive and you know me your girl gets hungry so yeah We're struggling. Yeah, it's huge. Mm -hmm. We're moving. Yeah, this drive-by wire is crazy. What does it feel like? Well, like, okay, so this is gonna take a lot of getting used to. Holy shit, like, look at it, I'm barely turning the wheel and the car's turning all the way. That's weird. Okay, we have some bad news that we were leaving the lot and literally the speakers on the car suck. Like, it, and they're not working basically. So we ended up coming back and waiting for an hour, nothing ended up happening. Then we were literally like, okay, let's just leave. But the service is like literally right over there. So we we're like, okay, maybe we can walk in and ask them what is the deal. So we did and they had no idea what to do yet. They were still like diagnosing the problem. So there was an update on the car and they still didn't even update the car, which we figured that would be the first step that they would take and they didn't do it. So they just updated the car. We went to Chipotle to go grab lunch because it's literally three o'clock right now. And uh, we've been here since 12. So, or like 11, 30, 12, yeah. So anyways, having some problems right now. We just got back to see if the software update did anything, which I don't think it did, but apparently this is like an issue that a lot of cyber trucks are having. So we're just trying to figure out a solution, but I'm just here waiting because I have a meeting at three o'clock, it's 2.58 and yeah hey guys it is actually the next day and i don't think i gave you too much of an update so i want to sit down and have a little story time with you guys about what happened yesterday we don't have the cyber truck yet because there were some issues so we got there we went inside and when you get there you're supposed to accept on the tesla app the cyber truck like you're supposed to accept it so that way the vehicle is yours but we were like, why would we accept it before looking at the vehicle? So we asked, can we go take a look? And they said, sure, it's right there. So we went outside, took a look at the vehicle. Everything seemed good, but we couldn't unlock the door. So we're like, okay, do we need to accept it in order to like have access to go inside of it? So we went back inside and asked them again, can we see the inside and turn the vehicle on and make sure it's working and everything? And they were like, sure. So they turned it on for us. We looked at it didn't do too much of a detailed look which maybe we should have done but 
it's a brand new Tesla, so why would there ever be any like issues with anything? Like we didn't think there would be issues, right? So we turned it on, everything seemed to be functioning, the doors opened, the AC was working, um, like basic things, right? So no issues there, went back inside, accepted it on the app, signed the paperwork, did all that type of stuff, right? So then afterwards, I think that was literally it, yeah, that was it. So then after that, went in the car to drive off, right? So we get ready to leave the lot. I'm first because I drove my car, then he's in the cyber truck and we're leaving. And before I even like exit the parking lot, I get a phone call. He's like, don't leave. The freaking speakers aren't working. And I was like, what? What the heck? So he connected his Bluetooth to the car. And for some reason, like half the speakers were not working. The only speakers that were working were like the front three. I don't know what they're called specifically. They were saying the names yesterday. I had no idea, but only like the front speakers were working. Nothing else was working. So it sounded like you were literally listening to music off of your iPhone. Like that's what the volume sounded like. And if you guys have heard, um, the Cybertruck has really, really good like speakers and people say like it's just really, really good sound quality. And this was not. So then we went back, told them. Um, first we like turned the car all the way off, like did like a hard reset basically turn it back on same problem went inside talked to them they're like okay we're gonna put it into like service to get checked so then we go back and we're sitting there and sitting and sitting and sitting and waiting an hour later they come back with some snacks for us <laughs> literally they gave us some snacks and everything and then then like an hour later they come back and tell us that okay we asked for an update and they said all they've done so far is taken apart like what they need to take an apart to like get a diagnosis and do like a software update they just started it and we were like okay shouldn't the software update have been done like the first thing it's an hour and now they're starting like we've been waiting here for an hour and an hour in now they're gonna start doing the software update it made no sense to us whatever we kind of let it go we we're just waiting it was getting late um like later so we're like i don't know what to do we we're really confused we we're like okay let's just let them do the update maybe it'll take you know sometimes 15 minutes sometimes an hour so we're like well let's go grab some lunch come back so chipotle it was like five minutes away we went got some chipotle tried to like de-stress a little bit <laughs> about the situation and then we went back went back i just sat in the car because i had meetings like phone calls and stuff that i had to do he went inside talked to like service specifically instead of talking to like the sales rep people because literally nobody at tesla knew what the heck was going on and nobody knew anything about the car like it was just like the delivery hub the location we were at they were delivering cyber trucks but they didn't know anything about the vehicles um so literally we knew more about the vehicle than they did it was weird anyways he talked to service and nothing really happened they're like we're still trying to figure it out we don't really know what's happening this this, and that but we already accepted the vehicle so the vehicle is technically ours but it's a broken car so we're like what the heck so anyways they basically we asked can we like reverse the order like can we just cancel it because i don't want to take a vehicle that isn't even working right so they told us by end of day tesla closes at seven we'll give you another update with what's going on with the vehicle and by the end of the day you need to tell us if you either want the vehicle or not because it has to be the same day that you signed the paperwork and all this stuff which honestly it just made no sense i think they just wanted the sale at the end of the day so we went home we were waiting for updates no updates we were kind of like you know reaching out to them and we weren't really getting too many responses or any like updates about what's going on so then it's like 6 30 nothing's really happening 6 50 i'm like they close in 10 minutes and we have to make a decision and if we don't the, you're stuck with the car that's broken and not working so um we end up like texting them and he's like sorry we're closed and we're like what you're literally like screwing us over right now this makes no sense but then they ended up um calling and they told us how okay we'll kind of like you know give you some more time and also reverse the like order basically so that way it goes the screen on the tesla app will show as you didn't accept the vehicle so we'll just like reverse it so it's not yours it's like yours but it's not accepted yet as your vehicle so it's not under your name or anything like that yet so it ended up working out great but then today no updates still and then tesla they end up texting today with a let me read you guys 
morning this is matthew i just wanted to let you know your technician had to take a personal day i have notified the sales team of the delay the technician does have a session started with tesla and it appears to be an issue with firmware of which they are working on getting a update out to the vehicle to load okay this is like literally the service cyber truck like text message i don't know if you guys can see that <coughs> So then we responded, so does the technician need to be there for that? Tesla says, yes, he will be back in, an, back in tomorrow. And then we say there isn't another human that can load firmware. And then Tesla says, let me check if the package is ready. So Tesla's pretty dumb. There's customer service sucks. And half the cyber trucks are broken and having issues. So yeah, that's the update. As of now, no Cybertruck. I showed you guys some clips and stuff of it. It looks really cool. Like, it did look super cool. And it was like a beast of a car. But, yeah, we don't have the vehicle yet. So, I will get back to you guys and vlog kind of the journey and the process of, you know, getting the Cybertruck or what ends up happening. Just wanted to give you guys a little update and story time of where we're at with everything. But, yeah, if you guys own a cyber truck or know anyone who does or have had issues with like the sound system in teslas or a cyber truck comment below let me know we've been like doing a ton of research and looking at like facebook groups and all that stuff and it seems like they do have a lot of issues whether it's sound or like parts falling off or random things so yeah no idea if this is like a good decision to have this vehicle or not but it just looks really cool and he wants it really bad so I want it really bad too. <laughs> can you tell I'm in a cyber truck or not? I think you can definitely tell you're in a cyber truck. Okay. The windshield kind of gives it away. Oh, true. All right, I wanted to give you guys a little update because it's been a week or so now. I didn't really get the time to update you guys, but everything's good now. The problem with the sound is solved. And we got the Cybertruck, was able to drive it, everything. But I want to give you guys an update on what exactly happened and how terrible Tesla ser customer service is. So, basically, the next day, we got a message from, like, the Tesla app. And then we said, so does the technician need to be there for that? Tesla replied, yes, he will be back in tomorrow. Then we said, there isn't another human that can load firmware. He said, let me check if the package is ready. And then they said, I was able to contact the tech. He has not been contacted by Tesla of a corrected or updated firmware package being ready to install. I will keep you posted for any updates. Then we said, is this just a normal update that I can do myself if the update gets pushed or no? Tesla said, no, it is something that we are working on by Tesla. We said, so the vehicle has to be there at the service center in order to do it? Question mark. Tesla said, yes, it does. All right. So that was kind of that. Then there was a conversation with the manager at Tesla and basically like there wasn't answers for a couple of days and then they said, you know, I'll update you first thing in the morning basically was like the next thing. We were really confused because that manager, this is what he said, it's the coolest thing about Tesla and the thing that can be the most frustrating that I'm not a technician but I found in my experience that things seem simpler than they are at times. So that was a response we got. <laughs> and then it we said, if it's a field tech working remotely, why does the truck need to be there? The service guy I talked to said it has to be on site. I figured it was just an update. I can do that myself here, so it's confusing. And then the guy said, I'll update you first thing in the morning tomorrow. Whatever, right? And then update next day, tech got word back after tesla looked into firmware and firmware package on vehicle currently is currently up to date they're having the tech check wiring between all modules um he is getting set up to expose modules and check wiring and connections i was told if one module is out it will cut out the speakers he said everything is in a big loop as i get more info i will pass it along and then we said, okay, thanks. It took two days to know that the software is up to date. I could have looked at my Tesla and known that in two seconds. What are we missing here? So it was like bad communication back and forth. But long story short, everything ended up getting figured out. I guess it was like a firmware issue um, with something. I don't really know exactly what the heck happened. But anyways, that was that. Long story short, problem solved. So 
yeah that was the issue uh tesla customer service is not the best but the cyber truck is freaking amazing it is huge huge driving it was really scary there's no back like window to look out of it's like a camera on the dashboard that you look out of so that's different and then also like the i forgot the name of it you guys are gonna make fun of me but like the the way you steer it's called like something like some tech wire thing i don't know um what is it called i forgot the name of it you guys are i'll probably insert it here somewhere but like the way that you steer is so different and weird like you barely need to steer in order for the whole truck which is huge to move so that was pretty cool but anyways hope you guys enjoyed this video it's something like different and fun and exciting so i thought i would post it show you guys kind of behind the scenes of a cyber truck as well as what it's like to be involved with tesla um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like this video if you guys want to see more. Comment below and don't forget to subscribe. See you all soon.